welcome back to that dad guy. Um, I usually always say the date when I start my videos. Sometimes I don't if I'm traveling around and I'm not sure when the video is going to be coming out. I sometimes omit the date that day. Uh, but one of the things I have thinking about, YouTube has an algorithm that pushes out my videos. Sometimes it pushes out the most current one. Sometimes it pushes out a topic specific one. And so people are watching my videos all out of order sometimes. And I just wondered, is it really necessary to put the date in anymore? If you're watching my videos every day religiously and uh, you can see them, you know kind of the calendar of how things are going in my life and the events that are happening. Um, we talk about the weather, so if I say it's snowing outside, you know it's going to be winter time. But if you're watching them in order, you know what days are happening. Speaking of that, today's weather was crazy, or is crazy, it's still going on. Uh, this morning it was pouring rain, and then it turned to a snowy, slushy business that's going on. It's about two degrees out there at Celsius, and now it's uh, beautifully sunny outside, but I hear they're supposed to rain again some more. So I think Mother Nature is all mixed up. She doesn't know what to put for spring just yet, and it looks like that will be the case for the next few days, but... That's not why you tuned in to you tuned in because today I'm doing a little post crossing. Normally I do all my rating of post crossing on Sundays and get it out there. Uh, last Sunday I only wrote one official postcard and uh, I showed you how I decorated it and things like that. And then um, earlier this week I caught up on all my friend mail. I didn't do a video on that, but I, I did do that. Uh, today what I want to do is tackle a bit more of my official post crossing cards that I can send out. And uh, I kind of been neglecting that. Two weeks ago, I was in Montreal. I didn't do any post crossing on the Sunday. So luckily, my cards have been reaching their destinations and people have been getting the mail that I've been sending. And uh, so I have all these slots that have opened up. I actually have 14 slots that I can send cards to. So I'm picking 11 of them today. I'm going to leave three. And then if something else arrives at its destination, I'll rate those on Sunday going forward. So what I thought I might do is show you the profiles or talk about the profiles I got and the cards that I selected for. If you like this sort of content, make sure you're subscribed, you like, you leave positive comments, you share with other people, and you keep your notification bell on so you get informed when I put out new videos or doing live streams. All right, let's get started. The very first one I have is going to Slovakia. It says, greetings from the heart of Europe, Slovakia. My name is, and I love my a bit of the name, of course. I love to read fantasy books like Court of Thrones, Roses, or Clockwork Angel. And in the spring and summer, I love to garden and sometimes hike. Right now, I'm reading The Crescent City, House of the City, and Breath. How about you? Please do not use envelopes. I'd appreciate if the postcard is handwritten. I love to read long written messages on postcards. If you do not know what to write, tell me about your life. What do you like the most about it? What makes you happy? I would love if you can start your message with hello in your own language. Please don't forget to date your postcard and write what the weather is like the day you're doing your postcards. If you don't know what uh, card you should send me, you can be inspired by my wish list. I like colorful, elegant, modern, painted, drawn, or print postcards, Greek goddesses, self-love, self-care, motivation, illustrations of chickens and cows, uh, budgie birds, uh, Towson flowers, castles, animals. Uh, Lou Paper, Postcard Designs, <clears throat> Formula One Drivers, and Drivers number 4 and 16. I love the best, but any others will be amazing. Vintage Formula One cards, too. I like Formula One cards as well. Uh, Women of Science series, and uh, she has uh, Vera Rubin, Mary Curry, Hedy Lamar, and Marjorie Douglas. She likes view cards, scenery, uh, only single views, maxi card with folk, motives, animals, and flowers, impressionism, post-impressionism, and famous paintings. I also enjoy interesting and colorful stamps, so if you have in your uh, collection fauna or floral and castle stamps, please use them. Please do not send me meet-up cards, vintage, keep calm, religious, war, or sad postcards, or no free ad cards. In case you are sending me a postcard, from the country where your mother tongue is German, write to me in German so I can practice. I am looking forward to your beautiful postcard. Enjoy your day. Well, uh, this is the postcard that I suggested or I'm sending. This is a Rembrandt. She likes art cards. So there is an art card for her. Uh, that is number one. Not all of them write uh, really long or detailed descriptions, but uh, some do. This next one is going to Germany says, hello everybody, my name is. I live together with my husband in Belfield, 
a town of around 300,000 inhabitants in Germany. Uh, maybe you know Dr. Octor. Uh, Bayfield is also named the Pudding Town. There's a story behind that. She didn't write the story. Why is it called the Pudding Town? Maybe Dr. Octo, which I think is a food company. Maybe they make pudding. Um, I like walking in parks and forests or in the little zoo of Billfield. Me uh, meditative dancing, reading, romances or biographies. Practice Feldenkrais. Do you guys know what Feldenkrais is? If you do, leave me a note in the comments. Uh, photographs making holidays in Warmermund and a little town on the Baltic Sea. Today with my husband, I want, uh, together with my husband, I want to visit all sites of the UNESCO World Heritage in Germany. I'm looking forward for interesting postcards with information or pictures of the land or town you are living. Old trees, butterflies, World Heritage sites, angels, tigers, landscapes, the old ladies from Ingluck, or whatever you like. Well, if she likes heritage sites and, uh, Older things, I'm going to send this vintage card, so it's already an older thing, but this is uh, Fort Beaujour on the New Brunswick, Nova Scotia border. This was an old French fort. You can see some of the cannons and things that are around there. Um, this is kind of that, the tourist house, and there's a museum and things inside of it, but all the ruins or things are behind this. I thought maybe there's something that she would not have seen before. All right, the next one. Ooh. is going to Massachusetts in the United States. Uh, she lives in the rural town of Massachusetts with her husband, dog, and aquarium tank. I work at a native plant nursery, growing the plants from seeds to be used for conservation. In her spare time, she enjoys kayaking, taking photos, traveling, and caring for her 50-plus plants and going to music shows. As for postcards, anything and everything is great, but I especially love traditional views from your country, Culture, customs, clothing, food, unique animals, creatures, art, and movements. Please feel free to write a handwritten personal note as well, and perhaps something about your life, your country. If you don't feel too comfortable writing in English or French, please feel free to write in your own native language. I'm more than happy to do direct swaps, and I love exchanging coins from all over the world. I also would really love a coaster from your local pub or bar. She collects them. All right, so this one, I'm going to do this local scene so this is Sackville New Brunswick where I went to university uh, where I finished my university degree and um, where uh, I started kind of my mailman's career one of the first uh, routes that I had was in Sackville so there's a typical scene for her. I'm gonna put it in an envelope though because I've received these beer coasters from my friend Michelle in England and uh, don't collect beer coasters I don't drink beer so I thought maybe she would appreciate them and I appreciated getting them so now I'll appreciate sending them on to someone else who collects them that's what we do isn't it we share what we have with other people uh, that uh, would like it as well so that one and the next one also going to Germany it says I love writing I have many pals from around the world I love receiving mail and I'm really interested in other countries and people also, I love traveling, and I already visited many countries in Europe, like England, Ireland, Iceland, Spain, Greece, and Austria. She's also been to New York City and Brazil. My hobbies are also reading, making cards on my own for all occasions, meeting friends, photography, and creating photo books. Riding my bike, Nordic walking, uh, Milan Circle, and cinema, etc. I, I don't know what Nordic walking is. How, how is that different? And Milan Circle, I don't know what that is either. I'm married and I have two children, a daughter who's 19 and a son who's 17, very similar to the age of my children. Uh, she's a nurse. She works in the nursing management at domestic nursing services. I'm really looking forward to have a post box full of postcards from all over the world. It would be great to receive cards from the places where you live, but every card is welcome. I also like cards with nurses, hospitals, medicine in general. Please write the date on the card. Well, I'm going to send a local card. So once again, these are the... Uh, Hopewell rocks, the flower pots as we call them, and gives you a good indication of how strong and how big the tides are because they carve out these rocks every time the tide comes in and goes out. That's how you get these rocks and you can see the trees are still getting water at the top of the rocks based on how high the tides come in. The next card 
is going to Indiana and in the United States. She's married with five children, nine grandchildren. Her husband and she are both retired. Uh, they love family and love to travel as much as possible. She plays games on the computers to relax like Pogo and love to do Sudoku puzzles. I'm involved with her community volunteering for different charities as well as church functions. I enjoy interactions with people and staying very busy every day. Starting collecting postcards for my own travels years ago. I'm very excited to receive them from around the world. Please do not use colored ink as it's hard to read. I don't have a preference on cards, but I do like keep calm cards, anything Scottish, blue cats, horses, flags, maps, churches, architecture, native people dressed in native costumes, birthday cards in July, holiday cards, not fond of advertisement cards or homemade cards, fa famous people, royals, and love different shape cards. I love different kinds of stamps as I try to buy new edition stamps to send on my cards. Please write the date, the temperature, and sign your name. Can't wait for the mail to come. Well, you like different shape cards? How about a long card? These are one of those long cards that I got from Montreal that I told you the story not too long ago that I went back uh, while I was in Montreal and they'd thrown them all away. They had 40 cases of them and uh, they're taking up too much space so they just put them in the garbage. Well, I still have some, thankfully. Uh, this is a kind of an interpretation of the Quebec flag. So she likes flags. Uh, she likes a long card and stamps so I can put all sorts of stamps across the back two that she will enjoy so it's like kind of a two for one she gets flags and she gets stamps all right next one is going to scotland uh he lives in aberdeen with his wife but no longer uh with their cat who was put to sleep in december of 2023 i'm sorry for the loss of your cat i'm a technician building intelligent pigs for inspecting maintenance maintaining pipelines so i guess that's uh, those robots i guess they call them pigs they kind of go and walk through the tunnels of the pipelines to make sure that everything's okay he works on those i enjoy bird watching natural history in general i also do photography visiting gardens and art galleries i like watching rugby and athletics and cycling i tend to read british and european crime fictions and classics my musical tastes are for classic rock on the country and blues side I also listen to Scottish and Irish folk music and some classical music, but I would prefer to receive cards with photographs on them of landscapes, wildlife, particularly birds and bumblebees, botanical gardens and plants from your home area. Please, if you live in Belarus and my name comes up, could you send me a card from the Fauna of Belarus series? I think they are excellent. Thank you. Well, this one is a homemade card and homemade this picture we have a bird. We have floral in here too. Um, there's a picture that was taken uh, by Wendy and uh, turned into a card. So I'm going to use that. I know it's got a bit of a bend, but it's got the things that he likes on it. And uh, hopefully he didn't say anything, didn't like homemade cards. So I think this will fit in perfectly. And it's for something local here as well. All right. Next card is going to the state of Georgia in the United States. Uh, he is 20 years old. He lives in the state of Georgia, about 30 minutes from the capital of Atlanta. I work in a cafe making coffee and other items. It's a lot of fun. My favorite part is the free coffee. Aside from my hobbies, including indoor gardening, video games, and tarantula keeping, I have 10 pet tarantulas and a lot of houseplants. When I'm not taking care of my dogs and my tarantulas, I'm usually playing Splatoon or Pokemon Go. I collect postcards and stamps from around the world. I'm not picky with the cards I receive, and the message is the most important part to me. My favorite postcard themes are landscape, tourist cards, photo views, fish, ocean, plants, bugs, spiders, Disney, blue cats, culture, patterns, loo paper. I like to hear about your day, what it's like, and what you ate that day. Please tell me about the weather and the price of milk from your part of the world. Maybe add a baking recipe from your country that I can try. Here are some more ideas to write about. What festivals and holidays are you celebrating soon? What is your favorite thing to do in your city? What do you know about the USA, Georgia, or Atlanta? Do you prefer tea or coffee? How do you celebrate a birthday in your country? I hope to hear from you soon. Stay healthy. And he says he's open to direct swaps and things. Well, this one I'm going to put in an envelope. It is just a typical Canadian dollar store card. So we've got the Canadian flag. We've got uh, kind of a, a scene of the sky with a bald eagle. You might think bald eagles in the United States, they go hand in hand. They do. I mean, that's their national bird. But did you know there's more bald eagles that live in Canada than there are in the United States? And we actually import some bald eagles down there too. Um, so 
There's an interesting fact for you. But I'm going to put it in an envelope because I'm going to include some stamps for him because that's what he says he collects. All right. The next card is going to Germany. She's 63 years old, has two adult daughters. She works in human resources and have many interests. Swimming, trees, nature, patchwork, uh, dancing, laughing, museums, and theater. I love that laughing is one of the things that she puts as uh, her interests. Her motto is life is colorful. What's your motto? Write it to me. I don't know what I have a motto. Uh, I live in a small town. I sing in the choir. I walk around the fields. I drive to work in the big city of Frankfurt. Um, I look forward to receiving cards from your hometown, your culture, your flowers, and every postcard sent to me is with humor and heart. Well, I thought about sending a, uh, a funny postcard, but she said she likes patchwork. I'm assuming patchwork is patchwork quilts. And Wendy, who has given me many cards, created this. Not only does she create this card from a picture, but uh, she does quilting. She had a long arm quilting machine. And so if she's into patchwork, I thought this might be a good one for, for this person. Because that seems to be part of their interest. The next card, if I can get it, there we go, is going to uh, the state of Montana in the United States. Uh, she says she's happy to be part of this community. Started collecting postcards as a, geograph a geography project for her sons, requesting postcards from all 50 U.S. states and expanded to different countries. Now I use postcrossing for fun. It's great to receive a surprise in the mail. I like maps, flowers, loo paper, elephants, animals, oceans, mountains, butterflies, houseplants, shaped cards, and tourist cards from your state or country. I love unique stamps. My hobby also includes doing puzzles, reading, aquariums, traveling, swimming, and hiking. If you have one superpower in the world, if she could have one superpower in the world, it would be teleportation so she could travel from one place to another quickly. She said she likes maps. We're going to give her this fun map of the uh, province of Prince Edward Island and uh, some of the things that you can do while you're there. Most of them look like summer activities, although there are things to do in the winter as well. Okay. This one was a great surprise because it is staying within Canada. I don't get very many addresses, uh, official addresses, through Post Crossing from Canada. So this one is going to Toronto in uh, Ontario. And it says, uh, Bonjour, hello, I'm a vegetarian, francophone, married gay man living in downtown Toronto. My spouse and I, um, he works for the airline, loves to travel, so you might receive a card sent during one of our trips and not necessarily from our city. I work in the field of post-secondary education. I was drawn to sign up here because I actually collect postcards. Also, I love mail and writing letters, making cards, and surprising people that I know. So why not surprise people I don't know yet? Best regards. Well, I decided to send this card. I don't know if he's traveled to Moncton, but he wanted something local. And uh, so experience Moncton. I really like the art, the graphics. If you saw my trip uh, videos to Montreal, you saw that I took lots of pictures of the murals that were there. Um, if they're done well, I think they're really, really nice. So I was very happy to send a New Brunswick, especially a Moncton card, off to this gentleman. All right, the last one I have is going to Hong Kong. Uh, it says, uh, hello to the wonderful postcrossers. Let's make this world a brighter place, one postcard at a time. It's the year of the dragon. A random list of things like dragonflies, insects in general, mountains, plants, rivers, citrus fruit, uh, fruit like oranges, etc. LGBT, pride, birds and sea, old buildings and people. You can send me a postcard of anything you like, especially if it's beautiful. Post crossing is the best. Let's keep sending positive and interesting postcards and messages to each other. I like getting postcards in an envelope as it's easier to remove and save the nice stamps separately. But if you use stamps that are self-adhesive stickers, no need to worry. Also, it's really not a must, especially if it makes it more expensive to send. Uh, I'm from Amber Valley in England. That's where he grew up. I've been in Hong Kong for 15 years now. This is his home. Questions. Do you like your name? Tell me more. What was the last wild animal you saw? Where is the furthest east, west, north, south you've ever been? Travel mode, he uh, says that he sends postcards from all his different trips. One of the times he had a trip to the Butane in 2019 in the post office there, they can put your face on the stamp. So he did that and sent out several postcards. 
And then if you said, if you check out the Butane page on Post Crossing website, it's still amongst the most recent postcards sent from that country. Uh, he says he's like sending places from all the places he travels to. And uh, as far as north is Grimsey, Iceland. As far as south is Rio, Brazil. East is Suva, Fiji. And west is the Antillian, Guatemala. And that's fantastic that he had such a diverse time to travel. Well, he asked for an envelope. He's getting an envelope. Uh, he also asked for LGBTQ pride. Nothing says it more than the pride flag. So I figured this might be a good card to send. And uh, hopefully he enjoys that. I'm also going to include a few stamps because he says he collects stamps. So that's the nice thing about sending stuff in the envelopes is that you not only can send the card, but you can add in a few other things. Well, that's my task. 11 postcards. I think I can do it. I think I've got time today to do it. Um, I'll put on some music and just plug away. I'll get done when I get done. There's no need to hurry and rush through things. Uh, whatever I don't finish up today, if I don't get them all done, I can always work on them tomorrow. That's the great thing about post crossing. Do it at your own speed and uh, just have fun with it. It's a hobby. It's not a job. So make sure you uh, do it with passion and love and don't worry about the rest. You guys have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Look at the boy. Who's a good boy?